All right, how's it going guys? Got another one here. This is the Topeak, as mentioned before, I use a lot of Topeak brands. Um, this is the Mondo XL saddle bag. I do have the XL with the bottle cage, uh, bottle uh, bag that's kind of attached on the rear here. So this is what you get when you buy it. It's super cheap now compared to a few years ago. Uh, I couldn't find the one that, the one I wanted was the one that um, you can like unzip it and then it'll extend an extra like gap. The reason why I like that one is because it could, um, it can actually hold my drone. So if I have time, I'll show a little extra bonus at the end of the video with my drone. So you kind of get what I'm trying to do. And uh, I've done it in the past with the other bag, with the bottle uh, bag right here. So it, my drone fits still. Either way, I like Topeak because of the installation and the mounting design. Um, before I get to it, I uh, just want to let you guys know that this is, is also a custom modification that I'm going to do that Topeak provides as well. So this is the mount that I've been shown for the past few seconds now. And now we're going to enter the extra mount, which is the new stuff. Now, this is probably the primary reason why I like Topeak. It's already unboxed. Is that it comes with other attachments that you can use. And pretty much I already took it out. Here it is. It's basically a rear light. Um, the way it charges, it's got the tab right here. So if you were to do like a quarter turn, so if with this arrow right here pointing to this line, it, un it opens up. I'll show you guys in a second. Other than that, to turn it on, it's right here. It's a single button function and it's a little hard to press. So give me a second. All right, give me a second. There it goes. Yeah, there it goes. There goes the full flash, uh, the kind of like the SOS kind of thing. You probably can't tell because the camera is like catching it at, a, at like awkward brightness. I actually like this one, but uh, other than that, um, it turns off by itself. And if you give it like a quarter turn, so I'm gonna try to do it with one hand. It's a little tough. Yeah, there it goes. It is, this is how you charge it. You have to put into a USB port like plug or laptop to give it the charge, um, which is okay. Here's the specs on it again, 25 lumens. Uh, they have another design, but I like this one more because it's a little wider. The other one's more like a circular design. So I'm gonna get to the installation right now. It's gonna be real simple installation. Just gonna require, um, you know, putting the, the mounting bracket right here. And that's it. So I'll get to it right now real quick. All right, just like that, boom, it's installed. Here's the uh, clearances for my 53 GT grade, 53 centimeter frame. Um, yeah, so quick input. I actually did what I said I wasn't gonna do. I did get the bag with the, the bottle, uh, just to show in a second. But this is the installation. So guess what's in the bag? I mean, you might already know from how I'm gonna show it, but it's gonna basically be uh, my go-to bag, Topeak, as mentioned, is my go-to uh, brand. They have pumps, bags, tools, you know. And this is just another addition to the, the stable. As you can see, reflective elements. It's come standard. It's got a little band on type of, in case you have like a light that bands on or hooks on. Uh, the light itself is is on, uh, I'll charge it or, you know, just because it's my first time, I wanna see how, if it's, okay, able to, to come out without any issues. Okay, cool. There it goes, it's out. If not, you can always push this button and have it like pop out, this button right here. And then you can just kinda like, you see how it's like a ring loaded button, it'll pop it out. So I'm gonna mess with this in a second. All right, try and do it while it's mounted. So that way I have it all there. 
Okay, before I get to what's in the bag, that's probably the last thing. Uh, I wanted to kind of show why I got this design. Ideally, it's more it's more aerodynamic from my point of view. I do believe in aero, um, you know, fitness as well. But aero does help, obviously. Um, there's a lot of theories behind it. And this is my original tail light. This one's very good. I like this one. It's the night night. Um, can't remember the name. Like a night night brand or something bullet uh, I like how it's a rubber stretchy band it can attach anywhere I normally put it right here uh, with it facing upwards but it's still bright enough to where cars can see the only downside is that um, <clears throat> I kind of feel like this thing might pop out it has never popped out though it has never popped out so I do give them credit but there are times when it's on like this for example it'll slap the spoke like the rubber right here will slap the spoke. And then at first I didn't know what it was. So I was kind of tripping out. Yeah, that kind of noise that you heard just now. But imagine it spinning. So it's faster and louder. So I would have to position it like kind of like that. Just to just to avoid the, um, the slap. You know, I have to put it like out like that. If I were to put it more inwards, it's going to slap no matter what. So that's the bad thing about it. I like how it fits all my bikes all my bikes like my i got you know the arrow seat post the d-shaped seat post and all that and it's it's long enough to fit other than that this thing should fit too the the velcro if it's not long enough for my like my bmc and all that bikes i would have to get a longer custom velcro but other than that it's um it's if it's a standard round post like a 27.2 like this one or other and probably the last thing that I want to show off is the bag. This is the actual bag before. It's the same spec. It has the bottle cage like I told you guys. So the bad thing is you see the tear right there. So imagine it's on the bike. Yeah, so you can really see it scraping. You would have to, in order to properly run this, um topic bag with the bottle i do like it because you could put an extra bottle here for free you know it's like free storage um the only downside is i would have to go to like a downsize frames you know so that way my seat post is like super high so it'll clear this um obviously i'm not gonna do that or oh, i didn't do that originally but i'm not gonna do that because it's not necessary just for the bag, you know, just for this one bag. So it, it just didn't make sense to me having to do that all for a bag. So that's why I, I opted out of that one and into this one. Like I mentioned earlier at the beginning, I wish I could find the one that, that could um, unzip and give you like that extra like little gap of storage, which does mean a lot. I like to keep everything in bags because it's more secure. Obviously, there's nothing else on this one except for the this bag. And for the purpose of this video, I give to you my secret that I do, or I'm going to start doing again, is, you guessed it, droning. So, this is the Mavic Pro drone. The remote's in there. The drone's in here. It fits perfectly. There's still room for other things. And in a second, I'll flip it around and show you guys the other side of the pocket because it's a dual pocket. Um, so yeah, um, the only thing I couldn't do was use the um, the little plastic shield that holds the gimbal camera. But I'm totally fine with that. It's a tight fit, but it fits. And this drone is very capable and durable. Had it for a long time now, so. Very All right. I flipped it to the other side just for the sake of the video it's still this pocket can still hold stash like tools and whatnot so it's the same like the other one the other one's the same thing except for the bottle cage bag that you saw i mean the bottle cage uh the water bottle holder <laughs> so yeah that's the only thing um other than that yeah if i could find the one that could open up a little bit more i'll buy that one just just because I, I prefer that one. Uh, it's really hard to find that one. It came out when it came out, you know. And 
I didn't choose it. So now they only offered this as the option. And uh, yeah, it's all about, um, aside from the, the drone that you just saw, the last thing I wanted to kind of give my final input on this bag overall, it's really affordable. It's very stable. Uh, the black carbon might might match like these kind of bikes with more carbon look. But besides that, I prefer these mounted uh, seat rail bag styles. Uh, mounted, when I say mounted, I meant like it's got like this little design that mounts it. It might add an extra, you know, I didn't weigh it, but maybe 20 grams. But it'll overall stiffen up the chassis and the rideability. So for example, if, if I was to go side to side, you know, lateral, climbing a hill, you notice it doesn't, it doesn't sway. There's no tests, no scientific tests I'm gonna do or anything like that. But I do know that when I wear, when I ride like a regular saddlebag and I, you know, ride, you know, swing my bike side to side like that, I can hear and feel the weight shifting left, right, left, right, left, right, et cetera, et cetera. So I actually prefer these, it's much stiffer. And especially if it's holding a drone and it's it's just check it out. It's it's got a drone in there which weighs like what maybe four hundred grams with the remote, four hundred fifty grams. I mean, aside from that squeaky sound, I could probably fix that whenever, whenever I do feel like looking into it. But it's got like over a pound and it's not even moving. And maybe a continuing episode is I did buy this Ortlieb saddlebag as well um don't know why i bought it but i bought it and then i realized oh yeah huh, i'm a topi guy so yeah so this is just laying here it costs way more this is like 100 bucks on sale on sale this was like 40 so you see your differences there this one obviously doesn't sit like vertical like this this one's more like horizontal so it's more like uh this design and so it'll be sticking out more tail end wise it does have the mount style so if i do get time i'll make another video for now i gotta hit the deck